the program's called Autonomous Ground Resupply. It's broken into three two-year increments. So it's like an incremental based approach, approach where we do initial development, we figure out what's wrong, make it better in the next increment, so by the time we're done, we have a, a very good product. Autonomous Ground Resupply is comprised of four different projects. So the TARDEC projects, are the first one's called Tactical Resupply. That's when you think of tactical resupply, think of advanced robotic behaviors. So this is more of the research type effort and does the higher level uh, behaviors to do like say like the autonomous last mile. The next project is a TARDEC project, it's called Sustainment Operations, which is the one I'm leading. This one is focused on developing the new architecture and system to enable fully unmanned vehicles. So all previous systems required a safety driver. This one, we can have fully unmanned followers. The third project led by ARDEC is called an Automated Supply Point Scalable. What it's concerned with is on at the supply node, managing the supplies, tracking them, um, also includes automation of the material handling equipment at the site. The last project managed by ERDEC, that is uh, software tools for AGR. That's the modeling and simulation environment. They're developing two products. One is Anvil, the other one is called Vane. These are the tools that we can use for our development and we're used for sustainment operations while we're waiting for our platforms to be built. We could do our software development well ahead of, of the vehicles being ready.